Hey all you rusty freaks. Before I start, thanks for all the support. If you haven't subscribed, please do so now. Rust maps and how to read them. To be honest, it took me a good couple of years to get used to these maps. They're not very good, but then again, it's not an easy thing to do. And I found this out by trying to make a Rust map key. And this is what it would look like. See, it's not really helpful. The things are not in enough detail, and if you put too much detail on it wouldn't fit the map would be gigantic so you have kind of a fuzzy thing so you really need to look at everything in context and um, that just takes time and experience so I'm gonna go over a few things that I've learned and hopefully it'll help you now biomes are so obvious I'm not really gonna go into them the white patches are snow biomes the green patches are grass biomes and the desert patches are all those kind of tan colored bits if you're wondering what the darker green bits are, like these and these and these, that's just where there's more dense trees. And all the green bits in the desert, there are also bits where trees will grow and they're usually just palm trees. Caves, all right. Caves are the, one of the most handy things to learn how to spot on a map. Can you spot the cave on this map? If you said that little circle there, you're right. They're not that easy to spot usually, but that's what you're looking for. If you're flying around, it looks like this. Power pylons, these things. Do you know you can actually spot them on the map? See the little four dots with a little tan colored dot in the middle? That's a power pylon. I'm not saying it's important to know how to find these things, but if you ever want to describe something to someone or to even to just understand the scale of things on the map or to find something you're looking for and you remember what it kind of looked like or if you spawned on the beach and you want to figure out where to live, Abrupt change, impassable cliffs. One of the biggest problems when you spawn in and want to decide on where to live or if you're riding a horse and you, you know where you want to go is knowing the direction you can go. If you're riding a horse, for example, you can't just ride in a straight line over that cliff. So you want to be able to look at the map and figure out what's the best way to ride there. But how do you recognize these tall cliffs? One of the worst things on maps is um, altitude differentials they don't really show but you can kind of recognize the difference between low ground and high ground I'll show you this is the map of the exact spot that you saw in that image and I'm f I'm facing sort of down and to the left and that's the mountain range there so first of all if you can see that it goes from grass to trees to snow that already tells you it's probably a mountain and then look at these kind of ridges but also, more importantly, these little gray horseshoe shapes are always rocks. It doesn't matter which biome you are in, rocks are actually gray on the map. And that's a big tip for map reading that you might not know. Ro you can actually see all rock features on the map. They're these little gray bits you can see in any biome. So hopefully next time you run out with your horse and you look down at the map, you'll know which way to run around that mountain or which way is quickest. Not sure of the worth of this, but if you're new to Rust, you might not be able to tell it. But anyone who loves building on these ice lakes can easily spot the ice lake right there. And that other little dot, curiously, is a certain kind of rock formation. That Those perfect little circles. Alrighty, mini, mini monuments. I'm talking about even smaller than what you'd normally call a small, mon a mini monument. I mean, these little things where there's just uh, one box and about five barrels. Well, you can actually see them on the map. See if you can spot it. No? Well, here it is. It's just basically a little tan circle, or sometimes they look slightly squarish, and sometimes you'll see these little dirt roads leading in and out to them. It'd be handy when um, you know figuring out where you want to build your base, especially if you don't want to build near other monuments or roads, or if you just want somewhere where you can quickly access a barrel and a box. Hey, since there's something on this map that might be handy for you to know, see that little box in the center there? If you don't know what that is, that's the Chinook crate. And that's a really good good loot in those. So it could be handy to know what they look like on the map. Rivers. I think when I was brand, brand new to Rust, I mistook a river for a road or a road for a river. But they're pretty obvious if you look at the, the scheme. The rivers are a lot fatter in there. That, that's a river on the map. 
rocks. Remember how I said no matter what biome, you can always tell what rocks are. They're the grey bits on the map. They're often got horseshoe shapes. And if there's a bunch of them linked together, it can often mean that it's a cliff. Like if you look near the harbour there, where there's a bunch of them grouped together, that's a cliff. And uh, this is what it looks like from the sky where I'm positioned in this map. I see the ice lake. See, you're learning. You can recognize everything on this map. Trees. Now, I took this snapshot for another reason, to show you the difference between dirt roads and normal roads. The sealed ones are the gray ones, the dirt road are the brown ones, or the tan colored ones. But looking at this map, I noticed something else. You can immediately see where trees will always spawn. And if that's one of the things you're looking out for when you come off the beach and you're trying to figure out where to build your base, that's a good thing to know. In this map, you can see the cave in the middle, you can see power lines, you can see the different kinds of roads, you can see rock formations. But yeah, if it's trees, you want to know where trees will always spawn. It's those dark green bits, the bits that are darker green than the grass beside the road. I'll show you what it looks like from the air. This is it from the air. See the road? Where, my, where I'm facing, you can see the monument there on the left, and those spots where the trees are. Well, I hope this has helped you with maps. Here's a little oddity as a bonus. Um, the water well, it's not labeled on the map, so this is what it looks like if for some reason you want to live near it. It's an easy, safe water source if you don't want to live near a river or go near monuments to find water. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, uh, or leave a comment if you didn't like this kind of video. And tell me what you do want to see. Ciao. Life Paxis, can you not raid my base? Life Paxis, can you life Paxis, can you life Paxis, can you not raid my base? Rusty freaks. So I'd never seen Lost before, but imagine my surprise when I finally did watch it and this scene happened and it looks exactly like Rust Underwater Labs. Check this out. Isn't this exactly like it? Anyway, sorry it's not too weird.